welcome to Let's Wander. Today I'm out in Elmer in Sussex and I'm accompanied by, of course, Shy Lila <laughs> and beautiful Bally. And we're going to explore the beach. There's lots of little crustaceans or mollusks and things like that to have a look at and lots of nice looking fancy birds. We're not far from Pagan where we were in the last show. Uh, it's just over the other side of there. You can, I'll, I'll swing this around a minute and you'll be able to see where we were the other week. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a really good one. So, with all this being said, let's wander. That's Pagham off there in the distance, Selsey Bill. That's, uh, might be able to just make out Butlins over there, Bogner Regis. Elmer's Pole was the Saxon name for Elmer, as recorded in a land charter from 898 AD and again as Elmer's Pole in 953 AD. Elmer comes from the Old English ale or eel and mere, meaning pool. In World War II the area was taken over by Canadian troops and trenches were cut. Barbed wire covered the beaches to prevent any enemy landings. Today it's a very pretty and peaceful place. The sands are home to many varieties of crustaceans, mollusks and many various species of birds. Okay, so this is really good to see. Look at these periwinkles. Are they periwinkles? Or periwinkles? No, periwinkles are the ones when you uh, chop chilies and then you go to the toilet without washing your hands, isn't it? Or is that piri periwinkles? There's hundreds of them in here. It's a, a one you can actually forage and eat, but to be fair, I've never been able to bring myself to eat one. They look like snot. It's on the water right there, a little bit far away. Is, uh, I think it's a black back goal, a lesser black back goal, it doesn't look big enough to be a greater. Oh, I'm just about to come into shot, you might notice there's a little turn. Like we saw on their breeding grounds at Pagham, the last show. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out, it's a good video. I'm not sure what this is, it looks like uh, some sort of fossilised coral. It's a big old winkle on it. It's a wet winkle. Yes, it's cormorant, and it's a big cormorant. I don't know how many different types there are. I've always just thought of cormorants. Sorry, Buddy's getting impatient. And you can see these on the Thames, and the Ember, and the River Mole, all down in Surrey. I've seen them there and they're incredibly good at fishing. In fact, they're rather unpopular with the anglers. Well, it's quite a windy day, again. It's always windy for me. And it's now brightening up. Still a little bit of rain in the air. Uh, the sun's are brightening up and the sea is a beautiful turquoise colour. I don't know if you can see the stuff over there. And off in the distance, I believe that hill, oh, I think that's uh, Sisbury Ring because we're looking in the direction of, I believe that's Little Hampton first, and then off towards, uh, I think it's what's it, Goring, Rustington and uh, Worthing. There's a crow parent there with its crow babies, <laughs> crowlings, <laughs> baby crows. They want food. Looks like seafood's on the menu tonight. Mm. 
seafood. So here we've got these old remains of something. I mean, I was going to say breakers, or sea defences, but sometimes I wonder if they could actually be from when the, this whole stretch of the coastline was just covered in fishing ports. You see a lot of this when you go to Rye as well, on the beach there. So here, just on the flyless nose, I found a slipper and pillow. Oh, well, I won't disturb it. But you can see it's, there's one, two, three slipper little bits and they stack up and they'll keep going, 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 and going until they make a little arc. So here we've got a, a lone limpet. There's a, a little winkle there. Another little winkle. I kind of wonder what these are, some sort of poppy. And these little bugs really like it. Maybe they're getting the water out of it or something. There's something around here the dogs really like the smell of too. Well, there's on. Hi, Lila. Hi, Lila. You can pull me over, darling. Come on, back here. That's nice, buddy. Come on, I like for something that they've heard or smelt. There is a great big farmer's field over here. Looks like it's got a wheat crop in it. Still green at the moment, obviously. I think we're actually quite close to climping. Lots of valerian there. And, uh, I'm not sure what this one is. It looks a little bit like sea beet. It's very small leaves. Very shrubby, unless something's nibbling it, eating it. Oh, I'm just down here. Oh, there's, I'm just getting in the shot. Make it as a little ladybird. <laughs> Okay, so you might be able to see just off past the piece of land that's sticking out, you might be able to see a haze. In fact, I can just about make it out, and there's the Seven Sisters. I can just see the white of the cliffs, and that bit there must be Lewis or Brighton, I'm guessing. I can just about see, hovering above it, what I believe is the I360 Tower at Brighton. So, Brighton's another place that we've really got to get to some point. It's just going to be an expensive one, so we've got to save up some money for that. Commonly found by the sea growing quite well is, uh, I believe this is tamarisk. Fans of Belinda Blinks might remember an episode called the Tamarisk Flute. So we're finding some lots of different things around here on the beach. In fact, I found what they call a mermaid's purse. Now I believe this is actually a egg case for a ray or a shark, dogfish, one of those families. It actually feels like it's got something in it. Hmm. That's quite cool. If it was a sunny day, we'd be able to see what it is. I might just put it over there in a puddle. There's a few bits just over here. Some water in it, just to make sure it doesn't dry out before the tide comes back in. It's, uh, you know, good for these things to survive because, you know, when you uh, catch them later on in life, they're tasty. <laughs> Sorry, vegans. Yeah, let's chuck the mermaid's purse and something in it in the water. It's more than a mermaid's purse than I've got. <laughs> Check out the Patreon page. <laughs> so typically the sun's decided it's going to come out just as we're uh, heading back. I don't know if you can make it out, but off in the distance there, that's Selsey Bill. And just beyond it in the haze, there's the Isle of Wight. And it's amazing you can see that from all this way out on a day like today. But if I just pan around, look at this. Look, look how it's turned out now we're finished. <laughs> oh. <coughs> My buddy's going for a block. <coughs> yeah, that's why we can't let you off, mate. <sighs> Let's go. Are you feeling silly, buddy? 
You're feeling silly. You got inside that ear hole too. Buddy, come on, do your zoomies. Do a zoomies. Do a zoomies. <laughs> Okay, so that takes us to the end of our wander at Elmer and Middleton Beach. Hope you liked it. Hope you like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you want to help us out with making more of these videos, then please go and check out our Patreon page. You can go on there. We've got our on-the-road diary, which we do when we go to different places. There's lots of pictures that we don't normally release. And also, there will be, eventually, a link to our Extra Mile channel, which is just a little bit of, little bit of comedy, uh, bloopers, reels, and other sort of things like that. So, from me, Chris, and Lila and Buddy... This was Let's Wonder, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, 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 bye.